Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of puppets. Today, joined by Brett. Thought we should bring Brett along for this one because I think this will be pretty exciting. This is from a brewery in Norway. I'm pretty excited about. I mentioned. I think I called them actually the most exciting brewery in Norway, but they, I think they have a little bit of competition after today. Yeah. At least in the hoppy game. I didn't know the Norwegian scene was growing like this crazy and this much stuff going on because I've, I guess I've been away from it for a bit. But this is another beer from Servisium, guys. Um, I've been in talks with the guys. They even shared the videos, and uh, I, I really enjoyed their stuff. We had together Smobody Obese, which was fucking awesome. Awesome. S'mores Imperial Pastry Stout. Yeah. I reviewed on my own. Uh, it's the empty can is right over there. Uh, Krampus, their chocolate, orange, caramel, Imperial, vanilla, Imperial Stout, which was a bit more balanced, but uh, Ellen uh, from Servisium was pretty excited to see what we thought of this one, because I think she likes it a lot herself, and I love these types of beers. Mm -hmm. So this is another kind of jumping the gun on the Christmas beers, because I'm doing that calendar, as you guys saw on the vlog, in December. So we're taking some of the more interesting Christmas beers that I don't think will be in that, and reviewing beforehand this time, just to let you know, guys know. So this, guys, is the Servisium Chocolate Salty Christmas Balls. <laughs> Imperial Stout. On 10% brewed with barley malt, wheat malt, oats, and lactose, and chocolate, salt, maple syrup, cinnamon. Yeah. Was that all? Yeah, I think so. I think that was it. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. That's a lot of crazy. Had a lot of, uh, you know, like so adjuncts. much stuff in it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it says Imperial Christmas Stout. First of all, keep the can out of the light. The, the uh, he hates the bright light. Uh, especially sunlight, it'll kill him. Second, don't give him any Imperial Stout, not even to drink. But the most important rule, the rule you can never forget, no matter how much he cries, no matter how much he begs, never drink him after midnight. It's a reference to fucking Gremlins, one of the most amazing Christmas movies, or Christmas horror movies, or whatever. It's, it's a great movie. I watch that movie and the second one, even though I prefer the first one, every year for Christmas. So that's fun. Okay. And it's also a reference to South Park, I guess. Yeah, I With so. a chef's chocolate salty balls. Yeah, and the, again, fire artwork. I guess these salty balls were fed after midnight or whatever, and turned into big monsters and tied up Santa. Yeah, <laughs> and we talked about it. Kind of almost looked like the design on a chocolate salty ball looks like um, the, the monster from Star Wars. Was, uh, the monster from Star Wars. From the uh, is it the last movie? Uh, yeah. With Jabba, what the hell? It's I the one with Jabba the with the monster down in the. I even gave you the name earlier. What yeah, the hell is it called? Uh, Whatever. I, yeah. I forgot it now. We'll Doesn't maybe we'll remember. Yeah. But uh, this will be really fun to try, guys. So, we got chocolate salty Christmas balls poured, and well, that is pretty fucking pitch black in the glass. Yeah. And when we just poured it, it had more of an ice head, but it's. Easily generatable, if you can say it like that. It's easy to generate one, but the one that's a bit, bit easier for you than me, but yeah, but it, it looks nice. Uh, I, I can smell like, it from here. Yeah, me too. It, it looks like oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's uh, one of those nice kind of tan beige heads. You want to check out the aroma on yeah. chocolate salty Christmas balls? Let's yeah. Do it. <laughs> Oh my god, it smells like fucking maple syrup pancakes. Uh, pancakes with maple syrup. With and maple syrup and, and uh, chocolate and cinnamon. Yeah. Wow. And uh, I also get that, this, wow, that wow, kind wow, of wow, salted wow. caramel. Yeah, 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 salted caramel. It has like a hint of salinity, umami thing. Yeah, it definitely wow. has a, a bit more of a hint of the, the roasty umami. It's actually reminding me of like a similar type base beer to uh, Smorbidly, yeah, but just with think. fucking loads of maple and cinnamon. I maybe think that this smells like a bit bigger beer yeah. than Smorbidly did. Maybe Even just because of the adjuncts yeah, yeah. covering it it up a bit more. <laughs> it's so fudgy though. It is it diabetes. Is so fudgy. It is diabetes. Yeah. It's kind of like brownie batter as well, and like yeah. it's all these cake. I mean, cake things. They say chocolate uh, salty balls. Uh, I don't know if it's like a truffle chocolate they reference or what it is. Otherwise, yeah. like if, if we talk about, but it's it like in, I think in South Park they say half a cup of butter and they also put cinnamon and chocolate. Yeah. Uh, actually, when I think of it, the ingredients in this is, are the same in Chef's chocolate salty balls, because <laughs> that also has cinnamon and Maybe chocolate. Maybe that is. It also it. has butter, but and it also yeah. has salt. I think. Yeah. But. 
It wow. probably they have if, if they are called salty Christmas balls. And the monster is the rancor. That was it. <laughs> but let's amazing. taste it. Yeah, yeah. It smells amazing. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, maple aftertaste galore. Oh, so much oh, maple. And then cinnamon. It's like maple and then cinnamon. Yeah. And then it has a hint of salinity, salted caramel. Yeah. Like when I first took the sip, it was like, that, where's the, and then it's just like maple, mm. like growing on you. Mm. So much maple. And then it, it turns really nice. into the, the that cinnamon, is... almost like a, a lightly bitter coffee. Yeah. Cinnamon, uh, bitter bit coffee, chocolate. dark chocolate. Yeah. Dark chocolate. Yeah. It's actually pretty nice that it has the, a bit of uh, a balance. It's really drinkable. Yeah. Really drinkable, yeah. 10% as well. Yeah, it has a bit of balance. It's got uh, that vanilla. It almost has a similar marshmallow flavor actually yeah. to um, Smorbidly. It's probably the and, lactose. Yeah, I think so. Because uh, I think there's a lot of lactose in it. Yeah. It's very sweet lactose -y. Like yeah. nice, super chewy coating, silky slick mouthfeel. Yeah, lighter side of full. Mm -hmm. But just so slick and coating. Actually, it's maple more than cinnamon. Actually, I think there is cinnamon there for sure. I agree. It's more maple, and then the come, you know, a, a, a hint of cinnamon kicks in. in the and vanilla is yeah. also there. I think I like this more than smorbidly. Actually, I don't. I think they're kind of on a similar level. Yeah. I think I like this a little bit more, but I think that's just because I'm a fucking maple freak more so mm. than vanilla. I love maple. Like the fucking make maple truffle thing from Omnipoyo was insane. Yeah, but Smorbidly was more popping on the adjuncts. Yeah, I, I think, I think uh, I I liked Smorbidly uh, just a tad 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 more, but yeah, then we can finally uh, disagree about. Yeah, something. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna say, I, I I'm not gonna do like Darwin and say ninety six plus. No, <laughs> so I'll say ninety seven. I'll go ninety five. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so then we have the in-between, and then I'll just try it. <laughs> this is really nice. If you're into the dessert -y beers, and I think a lot of you guys who are not too into uh, the diabetes sweet uh, uh, pastry stouts will like this a lot because it's not too sweet. No, it, 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 it does have some it balance. some drinkability. But yeah. this is probably one of the best Christmas beers I've had in a long time. Definitely. So, Definitely. guys, uh, keep an eye out for Cervisium and their... Uh, chocolate salty Christmas balls. This is fire. This is really, really good. I really wish more people would do stuff like this for Christmas beers. I can't wait. Evil Twin is doing that uh, uh, even more boom cake. Yeah, I yeah. really hope that's going to come out in bottles. But yeah, this is fun. So Exciting it, times. Yes, for sure. In Europe, things are going nuts here. Well, also in the States. But guys, if you had a chance to try these Avisium chocolate salty Christmas balls, let us know what you thought of it. Really damn tasty stuff. Looking forward to see what these guys will put out in the future. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. As, as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another beer video.